Welcome back guys to a new video here on the channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own FIFA mods. Alright. So oh um FIFA Editor 2. So what you're gonna need is FIFA Editor Tools. So go to the link in my description, download the editor, and also I recommend you guys to get the mod manager. Um, if you guys want to export it and make, give other people the chance to use it. And you will also need the encryption key. Um, which also will be linked in the description below. Um, once you open up um, the FIFA editor tool. I'm not going to show you guys how to install the editor tool. Um, because this tutorial isn't of that. But you want to open your editor tool the FIFA editor tool. This is for FIFA 21 by the way. Um if I didn't say that or I didn't say that. So this is my a part of my series where I show you guys how to make FIFA 21 more like FIFA 22. I have showed you guys how to create your own club. I have showed you you got I have showed you guys how to get the 20, FIFA 21 kits, and there's more coming, uh, especially because Paul V2K4, a one of the best uh, FIFA modders, is not going over to FIFA 22, and he's not going to continue modding there. He's going to keep modding FIFA 21 instead. Uh, but once you are opening the editor, editor tool, um, it will look like this. So basically, what you're gonna wanna do is go to the Legacy Explorer DLC, DLC underscore Football Comp ENG DLC Football Comp ENG data, and here you have a bunch of different ones. So you can just make this bigger. All right. So um, I'm not gonna show you guys how to do everything really, but in scripts you shouldn't touch anything because it's Lua file. So that's script files. Here you got objectives, finance, negotiation, comp data, no, I don't really recommend that you to change that either, and not the closed beta. So finance, negotiation, transfers, and objectives. And if you're good at it, like CSV files, so there's CSV files and then there's INI files. CSV files are, yeah, you can mess around with them, although I'm not going to do that. So look for the type INI. All right. Um, so let's say I wanna I wanna change a bit of the objectives. Then I open objectives and board underscore and underscore objectives dot INI. So then you can have sacking enabled. So you can disable sacking. Um, minimum number of points the manager must have be sacked, and then. That's like confidence points uh, from the board. All right. Um, and here you got points lost or gain for doing objectives. And then, yeah, there's a bunch of different stuff here. You can go ahead and read that through. Um, and then, for an example, for transfers, you can take, um, let's say, transfers. Let's see. Transfer, we can uh, change the minimum salary, the league ratings, um, and a bunch of different stuff. So, I actually have made a mod um, where I change a lot in the, in the database like this. But you guys can go ahead um, and edit whatever you want. But make sure it's an INI file because CSV files, as you can see, it's just a bunch of like numbers. Um, here you can actually understand. So we got like loan in now valuation. We got additional funds, finance settings. Like, yeah, you see here, and then merchandising. You can have so you earn more merchandising. Um. Like, they earn twice as much and stuff like that. Or, I don't know, really. I, I have messed around. Or not messed around, but I have done this. But um, I really don't feel like reading through all of this. You guys going to have to do it yourself. 
So here you can choose like the AI will retract your offer, it will take longer for them to attract, retract it if you don't answer and stuff like that. So yeah, um, then let's say you're done. You're gonna wanna export to mod. You wanna choose your title, database mod. Um, and then author micro GB, and then you want to choose your category. So legacy, I recommend to have, or you can make a custom one called uh, database. And then you choose your version, so 1.0. You can add your YouTube and stuff like that. You can add icons or images. Then you want to click save. Um, you're gonna choose where to save it. Um, so you can yeah save it wherever you want. And then you want to open that file that you just saved. It's a .fifa mod file. Um, so for me, it is here. This is the one I made, database mod for FIFA 21 career mode. All right. So then you just want to hit apply in the mod manager, apply mod um, S mods. Um, and then you can also add a description, um, but that you did in the editor tool. Um, so I had a description with everything I changed. So if you guys want to download this mod, I actually have the link in the description. Um, yeah, it's not, it does change a lot. Um, and you can have this, you, you can have this mod with, if, let's say, so with, with uh, Pfeiffer, um, if you guys know who he is, he makes great mods for FIFA. He, and his team. Um, so uh, basically, it adds um, a bit of changes. I think I added maybe as many, but the thing is, I have only the database. So if you get his mod, you will get that, and you will also get like the the FIFA or the English file, which makes you can't have other mods. For an example, the FIFA 22 mod. That's why I made this mod. So you can also have the FIFA 22 mod um, or the mod with FIFA 22 kits. Um, but yeah, then you want to hit launch and you're good to go. Or you can check it out if there may not be noticeable differences, although there is nice differences like difference that differences that are needed all right thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye hold me close till i get up time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us 